exceptional woman. Now, and while we are talking about the exceptional woman, you two make up your mind to become the exceptional man so that you can pick the lessons. Uh, like I told you, I've told us severally that a success principle is universal. There's no male success principle. There is no female success principle. It works for all. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 31 and let's read together. Let's uh, be on our feet in honor of God's word. We are going to read Proverbs 31 together let's be on our feet from verse 10 I'll read verse 10 you read verse 11 till we get to verse 31 I'll read verse 10 you read verse 11 everybody rise up let's honor God's voice all the children rise up it's because the women are doing their program today so nobody is in the children department so be on your feet there is nothing we can do without women. I read, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. You read verse 11. One, two, let's go. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that her, he shall have no need of spoil. I read verse 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You read verse 13. I read 14. She is like the merchant's sheep. She bringeth her food from afar. You read verse 15. I read 16. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. You read verse 17. I read 18. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. You read 19. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands all the distaff. I read verse 28. Okay. No, no, no. We've gone past this. Verse 20. Verse 20. She stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reached forth her hand to the needy. You read verse 21. Let's go. She maketh herself covering of temp tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Mm. You read 23. Ah, that person wants us to close service on time. She maketh fine lining and selleth it, and delivered girdles unto the merchants. Now you read verse twenty-five. Can we have twenty-five? Let's go. And honor and her clothing, and she rejoiced in the time to come. Hmm. I read twenty-six. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. You read 27. Let's go. She looketh well to the of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. I read 28. Can we have 28? Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, he preset her. Kayagade. You read 29. Can we read 30 together after the count of three? Let's go. Favor is deceitful and beauty is in vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Let's be seated. Now, I love the last verse in verse 30. The Bible talks about favor is deceitful and beauty is in vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. It shows that the virtuous woman may not be rich in build beauty. Am I communicating? Because beauty can be deceptive. Now, there are seven things I saw. I'm going to rush it because of time. We can't keep her uh, Ijobuki waiting. She'll be going back to Shogo after this program. I won't keep her waiting. So, these seven things, I will rush through them. I saw these seven things when I was studying 
this uh, uh, Proverbs 31 woman. You know, when I studied to a point, I first thought that maybe it's a poem, that maybe this woman does not exist. Uh, you know, I thought it was a poem because this, uh, the, the description of this woman looks just too perfect, you know. But later, as I was studying, I discovered that I have noticed these qualities in some women, including my wife. Now, and that makes, gives me a conclusion that the Proverbs 31 woman is a reality. It's not a friction. It's a reality. Now, and every woman that is here, please, as I preach, don't criticize. Make sure you strive, work hard to be the woman that I'm going to talk about. If you are this kind of a woman, I can tell you the truth. Your husband will be praised in the garden at the city gate. In fact, your husband will call you praise. Your, your children will call you blessed if you are this kind of a woman. And if you are a man here too, if you work to be this kind of a man, the same thing will happen to you. Let's start from one. Number one, in verse 13, I saw the first virtue of the, 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 this woman, the virtuous woman. The Proverbs 31 woman. Show us verse. As I call those verses, please you show us. In verse 13, I saw the first quality of the virtuous woman. If every prophecy that is being spoken over you will come to pass, you must take note of this virtue. Look at this. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She goes out to look for wool. You know what they use wool to do? They use it to sew, to make sewing materials. She will go out to look for it and she will make sure that her hands is working. The first thing I saw about this woman is that, hear me, the virtuous woman, the exceptional woman is not an idle woman. The exceptional woman is not an idle woman. The exceptional woman is not an idle woman. The exceptional woman will not be a woman that does not have anything to do. Now, that exceptional woman will not just be happy that she's not doing anything. She's a woman that wants to put her hands to work. You can't be exceptional if you live as an idle person. Always waiting for miracles. I was preaching in the vigil on Friday night and I told them, yes, we are praying for miracles. God does not want we, his children, to live our lives on miracles. God doesn't want us to live our lives like that. God wants us to live our lives on principles. She's not an idle woman and will never agree to be idle. She will not allow herself to be limited in any way. You know, she will, that's why the Bible says she's sick wool by herself. I told you our story now, some weeks ago, was it two weeks ago? How after our marriage, 20 years ago, we had challenge with accommodation. And the reason why we had that challenge is because, not because we didn't plan. But before our wedding, my best man promised me that, Pastor, you don't need to look for house. He started telling me, he said, the church where I work is a pastor too. They have relocated me. They have transferred me back to Poracot and I've paid the rent of this place. And my rent will still remain nine months. So, Pastor, Emma Wale, Emma Wale, don't bother to look for house. And I agreed. So when I was making plans for my marriage, I didn't plan about a house. Only for him to tell me on our wedding day. Because he did something, I scolded him. He came with a lady to my wedding that was not his wife. They went to sleep together and when they came, I saw the lipstick of the lady on his lips. And I said, Pastor, what's the meaning of this? Your wife didn't come to this wedding with you. What's this on your lips? He was shocked. He didn't know I saw it. And I told him, I don't like, you know, I lashed him. You are a child of God. Do you want to go to hell? So it was after the wedding, I and my wife were preparing to go to, our, to the house. That he now told me that, uh, uh, Pastor Prince, I just want to tell you that that house thing will not work. Ah, that was where the crisis started. Now, when they ejected us from where I said we went to stay, we, the only option we had left was to live with my in-laws. One of my, my, my wife's elder brother, she lived very close to us here. He lives, he lives there. So we moved to his house. He, was, he saw when they threw our properties out, he invited us to stay in his house. Right there in his house was when my wife sat at the entrance of the house, at the, at the corridor of the house. And my wife said, Ah, Mudelima Tan Kombiu. I can start selling things here. Now, right from there, there was no money for shop. Tabati and Nikawa shop, and the song. I'm telling you something of 20 years ago. There was no money anywhere. And she saw that place and said, she can start. She went to my junior sister. 
that time my junior sister's husband was in Thailand. They were importing shoes and bags. Now, don't forget, somebody will say, ah, he has brought sister that was importing shoe and bag and they were suffering. We didn't live our life begging people for, for anything. If nobody knew what we were going through, that's the kind of way we live our life right from day one. So my wife went to my sister and told him, I told her, can you supply me goods and let's see how we can be paying gradually. And my sister gave her about 10 shoes and bags. Okay, let yeah, me see. Lolo, 10 shoes, at baggy, Loma Fita. Thinking she has shop. The second day morning, my wife displayed at the entrance of that house, that corridor. She sold her first, she made first, first uh, sales that day. Now, as she was making sales, my wife started thinking, ah, I don't have capital. People are asking, when they come to ask for shoe and bag, they ask for clothes, they ask for Ankara, they ask for lace, they ask for Kampala. Do you know that from that money, she quickly traveled to Abel Kuta? She will gather Kampala, will sell. Before my sister, we asked for the money of shoe and bag. She have sold clothes. You know, she was just patching it here, patching it here. And we started living fine. Our level of eating changed. A, an exceptional woman is not an idle woman. Every, every mentality of you being idle, kill it. Go search. You will see that every woman that did great thing in the Bible, we are not full housewives. This full housewife thing is what we call modernized slavery. You have to wait for your husband for matches. You wait for your husband for kerosene. When gas finish, you know gas is, is like, it's not like kerosene. He won't tell you when it will finish. So you have to wait for your husband for everything. And an exceptional woman is not an idle woman. Say after me, an exceptional woman is not an idle woman. Look at it. The Bible says she seeks wool. What does that mean? She creates job for herself. She doesn't sleep and wake up without doing anything. We are still under that number one. She creates job for herself. That was how we started though. That was what brought us into the business line. Now, today we have cosmetic stores. Today we have dry cleaning stores. Today there is school that well, we run. We run schools. Now, it, didn't st it started from in front of the corridor of a house where we went to Scott. Aloya Lake Beni. It was a two-bedroom flat. My in-law was living there and he gave us one room inside the two-bedroom flat. Do you know that it got to a point that we start, the whole corridor was full with goods? Auto stage, yeah. So, an exceptional woman is not an idle woman. Do you know that one of the sources of sickness is idleness? Oh, you don't know? Then you banish your sick. Because you, your, you need to be active. Your body needs to be moving. If as somebody said, when you engage your brain, you are exercising it. So learn it. What's number one? An exceptional woman is not what? It's not an idle woman. Let's look at number two. In verse 14. My monitor is going off and on. Verse 14. Number two. Let's look at the second thing about the exceptional woman. That's why I don't forget. Exceptional men are not idle men too. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Verse 14. I don't have all the time. She is like the merchant's ship. She bringeth her food from afar. Look at this. How will they uh, categorize her as a merchant ship and they summarize it with food? You know what the merchant ship carries? It carries several kinds of goods. Now it means that the exceptional woman is dynamic with food. When it comes to preparation of food, she's a good cook. She's a very dynamic woman. When it comes to eating, her husband will have reason to want to come home. Am I communicating? Her husband, we have reason. She's a good cook. She values the act of bringing food to the table. That's why she's referred to as a, as a merchant's ship. Whether there is abundance or there is scarcity, she knows what to do to make food to be on the table. Yes. You know one of the things I love about mommy Adelaku, my mommy in the Lord. Ah, I wanted to bring that back. I forgot. Because when I was preparing, I said I will use as an example. My mommy in the Lord knows how to entertain people at various levels. 
te ba di le mo mi adila kun te ba nlo eni e mu an bagi alejo dani of various sizes during their wedding anniversary they gave us one small bag but it has handle you know what it was in it one more can of malt and one sixteen naira biscuit alejo ni e when i visited their house she gave me one big bag you know what it was in it one big chivita and one bottle water now she knows how to entertain at various sizes an exceptional woman is not waiting that say okay if my husband does not give me a lot of money for that soup to be sweet there must be okoroko in there uh, pla, uh, what do you call okoroko in uh, 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 stock fish must be there if you are that kind of a woman, you are not an exceptional woman. An exceptional woman knows how to bring food to the table. That the husband will finish eating and say, wow, wow, you are indeed a wife. The man is not afraid to bring out what he has in his pocket. I've been married 20 years and I'm speaking from practical experience. We don't have everything. I can tell you, we don't have everything. But at every point of our lives, hear me, we enjoy it. I taught my children how to drink gari to the point that now that God is blessing us, I don't know how to stop it again. We taught them to the point in those days. Tabati da gari so me baeta ya kasi tabati wu awa yo mi esi no kopa agbesi fridge. I now tell my children this is what we call gari juice. So when you finish taking the gari, go and take the juice. What you are like, they be paying you see ah gari no man sabe fem. System la mama so from. I, to, to erase that thing from their mind now is difficult for me. The exceptional woman is a good cook. She values the art of bringing food to the table. The exceptional woman is not the one that always buy. You know, some of you, see number two, see Louis Fouin, and Mobi taught him how that shawama. He taught him how that pizza. If it's right, jello fries, you want it that, taught him how that. If it's fried rice, you want it that, taught him how that. If you told you are a useless woman. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I should not abuse you. You are not an exceptional woman. You don't live life like that. I always teach my children. And I always tell them, you must know how to cook. You are going to become somebody's wife one day. I have two girls and a boy. You are going to become somebody's wife one day. An exceptional woman is a good cook. That's why they rate her as a merchant ship. Say here now. Listen, to her, cooking for her family is no stress. Couldn't she stress? To the exceptional woman, cooking for the family is not stress. It's not something that they, they will have to call people to come and intervene. How many people did they call when Abraham had a visitor? He only sent message to Sarah. Go and tell her some visitors are coming. You know, prepare the meal, not knowing that that food is what they will eat and they will prophesy for Isaac to come. Abu Epas, Tabaki, Kingsman, Kila Mama Vidal, no. Emaru, because I'm feeling jealous. Abu Epas, Kingsman. Eh? And the funny real is where the funny known by God. I want to know ordained by God. Maybe we should give you women president. Number three, verse 15. Quickly, show me verse 15. That's why you two, to be an exceptional man, you must bring food to the house for the exceptional woman to cook. Verse 15. My monitor is just fainting. What is happening? Now, point number three is from verse 15. Are you there? Show me now. I don't have all the time. Thank you. Look at it. She reset also. She reset also. While it is yet night, the monitor is fainting, and give it meat. Read it for me from yourself. I'm not saying it here. To our household. Now, 
do you understand that word she rises at night hear me the exceptional woman is a praying woman she's an intercessor the exceptional woman is an intercessor rara Ah, brother, brother Joseph, yes, brother Sam, you know my me now. Before I got married, Emma B. Mosheri, Sheba Mosheri, no. I want mommy, dada, who's a bit at the office every day, preach the gospel. There has known me over 20 something years ago, and he knows my wife over 20 something years ago. I've woken up several times at night, eh? That I will hear my wife praying in the name of Jesus. Pastor, Prince will follow me. You shall be great. Prince will follow me. The doors shall open for you. Prince will follow me. Ah, yeah. Timati bomi yan laju ma wadi bi enki muti sun ma wadi ju kamba ma laju kong ma amare ni kulu au sheo mi uniya wotun fi bubu ba shikpe for me uti e shikpe for me ri. In all the years of our misunderstanding, twenty years, I stand on the altar. I cannot lie. She has never used an abusive words on me before. A clapping clap because I met her in the Lord when I gave my life to Christ. She did my follow up. How will you be cursing? You know, some women curse their husband. How much she can do? Can do ah, you were more crazy. Only your puny baburu are a well, Luty Mahon. See, I your puny bada. I are a well, Luty Mahon. Hey, let's obey. Okuni o ni to match obinin lo ni ko si ba se le gerun wa ka gegege gege ko le ga le kan ko ja gbo sai tan ge eyin le ni di human hair abi eyin le ni di human hair eyin le ni di fonta yes mo lo mo obinrin eyin le ni de mi je ni mo mo lo mo obinrin mo ni yawo ana me carry father i i i at least <laughs> Daddy helped me pack this hair. I went to say, Only help me pack my hair. I used to do it. Now, no matter how rich a man is, our hair is 500 naira. Abi? Bami, she, 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 but let my daughters go and do their hair. They will tell me that, sir, the wave on that we are going to buy. By the time they calculate 4,000, the person that will do it, one sees. Add it together, 5,000 sees. That is one year plus, if me, I'm going to do. So it means that if it is well with the man, it will show more on the woman. And if it is not well with the man, it will show more on the woman. Because everything about the woman needs maintenance. So the exceptional woman is, is a praying woman. A woman that will always spend her time. Lord, my husband must, it must be well with my husband. Lord, it must be well with my children. Lord, it must be well with me. It's not a woman that will say, I'm not praying for my husband again, no pastor. I'm praying for myself now. See, can I tell you this truth? I've discovered this about women. I've been a married man for 30 years. Uh, 20 years plus I discovered that a woman does not enjoy sponsoring herself she does not feel fulfilled if she's the one paying her bills a woman is happy she feels fulfilled when a man pays her bill especially the man she loves a few days ago my wife went out by the time she came back I bought some set of hundies and I just, I just push it in front of her. Ah, she laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. She laugh and laugh and laugh. You say, you say why? I said, I just feel like, ah, that day was different. <laughs> it's not that she doesn't have money to afford it, oh. She has. She has money to afford it. But they were not wired that way. Am I communicating? I don't want to take time. So the exceptional woman is a praying woman, an intercessor, one who will always stand at the gates of the family, 
strengthening her husband's hands in the place of prayer. Where do you strengthen the hands of your husband? It should be in the place of prayer. Fear dura I was telling her a few days ago, I said, Don't worry, by 2023, we are traveling out of the country. She said, She smiled. I said, See, I just agreed. She said, Why? I said, Because my family over there has been begging. So I we were, we were now talking on Wednesday, on Thursday. And I now said, hello, okay, okay, Mutikbo. Muti if you watch Canada and say. My, my elder sister's husband screamed. Pastor Shotikba. Muni Mutikba. He was 13 dollars, 13 bears. When Bella said, Muni Mutikbo. Mutikbo. Okay, Iqba, Muni. Cast an invitation. I said, let's look at something, a prayer or so. Pastor, are you serious? I said, I see I will come. They've been begging me since. So when I told her she was happy, I said, you just pray. I have some plans, some things I want to do so that we just, let's go on vacation for like two, three, three weeks. So this morning I, go, I woke up, I told them, I said, this vacation thing, are we not going to change it? She said, why? I said, then you already said, if she enters Canada, she will escape. <laughs> ah. Ah. I said, she said she will escape. I don't want her to escape. I want her to finish her studies at Lee City. Now that she says she will escape, maybe I should cancel it. Ah, only sir, I will, I'm not joking. I will run. He, he, she was telling me, you think I will enter Canada and agree to follow you back in two weeks' time? <laughs> Most women, listen, do not know that they are the ones to determine the flow of provision in their family. This is determined in the place of prayer. Ah, One of our daughters here, I will share her testimony briefly. Her husband went to the herbalist and the herbalist told her, And he will come up, and she came to tell me, Papa, my husband is telling me that I'm a witch, that the herbalist wants to see me. I said, follow him. Ah, he said, Papa, are we not born again? I said, follow him. So they got to the herbalist, through life story, they got to the herbalist uh, uh, shop. You know his shop, his business center. As the Baba saw her, he, he stood up and put his head down. Mufuri Baleo. Mufuri Baleo. Mommy, he told her husband, Felix, Adejumo, I am standing behind you. You will succeed. If anyone say you will not succeed, I will deal with them. And she said, if your wife wake you up in the middle of the night and call you by your first name, Felix, you are coming down. He said, you better prostrate. Number four. In verse 16. Show me verse 16. Sharp, 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 sharp. Verse 16. Let's look at the exceptional woman in verse 16. She considered a field. My wife spoke about this a little bit yesterday. And by it, by it, it with the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. What's number four here? The exceptional woman is a multi-dimensional woman. Because she's a creative woman. She's multidimensional. She's a very creative person. She's multidimensional. We have them in our mix here now. Can you imagine a whole engineer runs a restaurant? That's multidimensional. I always tell that my wife has cosmetics. She has cosmetics business. She's running school. She has dry cleaning. And all of them are running. She has staffs collecting salary. She's the multi. A woman must be multi-dimensional. My mentor came back and told us 
He said they went to see Pastor Adeboe. Listen to this story. Bishop told us himself. He said, he now started asking questions. And Baba Adeboe said, ask mommy. He said when they spent one hour with mommy, they discovered that mommy, mommy Folu Adeboe is the business brain behind the redeemed Christian Church of God. The business brain behind. My mentor now said, any man that marries a woman that is not industrious as a pastor will suffer. If you marry the one that the whole thing is fighting you about, a teacher, a teacher, you are my dear, shake this, you bro. The party mood date, wedding to buy more, own dear woman, no fair, no cot, eh? Mashi, Mashi wedding, you know. Tony, to your own Jalumbe Gassi, I tell you, 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 it's true now. We have them, we have our women here, studied uh, uh, education in school, have shop at a lesson lawyer from there, established school, multi dimensional. During Christmas, she will go and do uh, interior decorations for, for people. Multi-dimensional. They are here. When you now see them using cars, see them dressing where you be envying them. One shake beraga. Only one man beraga now. An exceptional woman, don't forget, is a multi-dimensional woman because she's creative. It takes creativity to be multi-dimensional. I bet you money, but if you keep bread, keep your study, get low energy, keep your ass, and and run shop, and run back. Multi that, in control, you can't mass of one young young ladies is in here. Don't but you are, hey, we don't call you tell them. As you are laughing, you yes, koni ye there ya o koni ni. When they were roofing their house, by herself she called and borrowed her husband money. I love you, come roofing. Me buying you, or a lot lands up. These are women, multi-dimensional women. That's who an exceptional woman is. My wife told you yesterday how she told me, you are going to clock 40. We should not remain as a rent in the rented house at 40. And God helped us. We came out. Don't forget that she started with seeking her own wool. Don't forget to. But she's, she, she, she has now come to the point of buying a field. She also... Because became creative planting in it. Why? She understands opportunity and how to make use of them. That's who the exceptional woman is. If you have that kind of a woman behind you as a man, oh, oh, they broke. Number four. Number five, sorry. Five. Verse 20. Show me verse 20. Sharp, sharp. Are you learning something? Or are you angry? Are you angry? I'm your pastor. Verse 20, where is it? My monitor. If you have if it's there ahead of uh, if it's not, if it's there, please read it for me. She stretched out her hand to the poor. Hand, to the poor. Yes. yes. Now look at this. The exceptional woman is not a stingy woman. She understands the power of giving. That's why the Bible says she stretched forth her hand to the poor. She's not a stingy woman. She understands the power of giving. She practices giving. She does not position herself as a beggar. She does not position herself as a receiver. She doesn't live her life on free things. You know, some people are living on free. Taluma for me, taluma for me, do I open here? Safo, taluma for me, taluma for me. That's why you, bro, you have a fiancé. You are the one that will buy her nails. She will call you. She want to fix nails. She will call you. She want to fix her hair. She will call you. She want to dry clean her clothes. On a level, she will call you that she want to buy pad. She will call you recharge my phone. She will call you please. I need data. On a level, wo asura klofek be sorry. O ni beku o jete ti file. She do, she's a giver. Exceptional women are givers. She won't position herself as a receiver. No, 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 no. She won't. That's why she's working. 
she wants to contribute to. That's an exceptional woman. See here. Let's take the remaining two. Number six. Verse 21 and 22. Verse 21 and 22. Look at this. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. You know why she's not afraid of the snow? Read verse 22. Let's read the second verse. Read for me, please. The monitor has gone off again. She maketh us a covering. Yes. Now, look up. Why is she not afraid of the snow? The exceptional woman is a wise planner. She sits as the manager of the resources of her family. She knows that snow is coming. She's a wise planner. Not everybody, not a woman that will eat everything up. They brought provision home. You don't work everything whoosh, just like that. You don't know that. You need to be wise enough to the point that if your husband is a father Christmas, you must know how to be taking and be saving. Taking and be saving. Taking and be saving. Taking and be saving. In case it is not, Christmas is not every day. It's once a year. A time will come. Your husband may be broke again. That's the time to now go to the saving. Not that when your husband is a father Christmas, you now decide to be a mother Christmas. If you eat one meat, I eat one meat. You eat two pieces of meat, I will eat two pieces of meat. You eat bokoto, I will eat bokoto. You eat fried fish, I will eat fried fish. You eat fresh fish, I will eat fresh fish. Don't be that kind of a woman. An exceptional woman is a wise planner. Ah, be my she no way. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Let me look for a means to be saving. If we say the thing, we walk like this. If it doesn't work, because snow, we always come. I've told you, in life is programmed in two things. Hear me. There's always going to be a time of abundance and scarcity. Anytime you see abundance, God is paying you in advance because scarcity is coming. Why are we suffering in Nigeria? It was during Jonathan's era. So if you are blaming Buari now, it's not his fault. All the excess uh, uh, savings that, that Obasanjo labored for, paid our debt, got that money. Our foreign reserve was great. During Jonathan's time, when they came, they saw abundance. Kai, I want more no no. What can no we learn to one? What can no we learn to one? Whoever is going to be become president after Buhari is coming to to meet nothing. And if you expect too much, don't think that will be, if it will be that one, he's coming to perform magic. There's nothing on grand. Oh no, my Yawuni. If it's as you argue that we come and become president, oh no, my continue. Oh no, good support, my continue between Baba and to stop. So, the, the case of Nigeria now, eh, is not who is going to be president next. There's nothing on grand they want to use. Because Jonathan's time, they squandered all. When Buhari came, he didn't see anything on ground. And he has promised everybody that, ah, change, change, change. So how will he effect change? He had to go borrowing. He now borrowed to the point he has borrowed from China. He has borrowed, they are borrowing from everywhere. You see Nije, they, they are trying to take some things to Nije. They, you know what? Nije found oil. Nigeria is also going out to, to seek oil from Nije. So they too will want some things from us. That's what is happening when you don't have a wise planner as a wife. Uma Kobe. Because naturally, eh, men, hear me, men are shy. When there's expenses, the man will promise. Am I worry? Am I worry, man? She. Unte shimanzo ke ya uwan buruni. Tuba wadi le ya ulu mana e shikini. I promise, mo pe ma phone one million. Ba ole shima phone one million. Eh le phone one million no. 
Ah, <laughs> Are you learning something at all? She sits at the planning of the resources of her family. She's not a waster. She has mastered the principle of savings. She has mastered the principle of investment. Even as a youth. Now, let me quickly say this in, in two minutes. All the young ladies that are here, start from now. If you start to buy human hair and fonta eh, as a youth, if you get married, what will you buy? What will you buy? You should master the act of saving as a single. So that when you get married, you will know how to manage the resources of the man. Sorry here. You know what destroyed the life of Mike Tyson? He married a very wasteful woman. I'll tell you that story another time. Lastly, Verse 26, the sixth one. Let's look at the exceptional woman. The last quality I saw. Verse 26. You know when I wrote these principles, I was in the cow. It was on Friday. Before I went for VG. I discovered if I go for VG, by the time I come back, I'll be useless on Saturday. And I was useless on Saturday. So before I went for VG, I just sat in the car. And the Lord said, quickly go through those scriptures and begin to write. Read verse 26. Look at verse 26. Read for me. Read for me. She opened her mouth with wisdom. Yes. The exceptional woman's, the exceptional woman's mouth speaks wise words. She's a great presenter of words. Oh more. An exceptional woman. She knows how to talk. Wise presenter. That's why the Bible says there's wisdom in her mouth. Consult us, okay, anyhow. Elomio Moroso, you're so jow, jow, jow. Exceptional women don't talk like that. They are very, when, when you hear them speak, you, you hear wisdom come out of their mouth. Ah, I respect you. That's why, see, it's not everything that is in your heart that your mouth must speak. And she really come in the so I had to warn one of my sons here. Papa and mommy, Baba Roba she didn't want to say, "Mono mati te pa." And to ban so Baba she didn't want to make power last in it. Awa you ban man so ani mo jamo sa la ma ki kanju logo logo to ban mo jati o mo sa kilo man she lesi duwo. On pada on pada delay. It's not everything in your heart. Even when you have something in your mind you want to say, you will first think it very well. If I say it like this, is it wise? Imagine you face an elderly person. As now say, mommy, mommy, ali me, mommy, ali me. Oya koko lo yile sofu yin pe. Ah ah. Oya koko lo yile sofu yin pe bitay joku siye. Are you getting? Do you understand? Professor, boy, who is presenting? Come on, my solution is rule. Mama, oya koko lo yile sofu yin pe. Now, what am I saying? Wise presentation. I am also a little I am also a little bit of a little May God give you wisdom to always know the right thing to say at every given time in Jesus' name. Are you blessed? Have you learned something? Will you walk towards being this exceptional woman? Let's welcome our host, Pastor Luayem Ziafolabi, as she comes up.
Keep clapping if you want to clap. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now it is time for the able of us to come together to appreciate God. We want to give thanks to the Lord for what he has done and for what he will yet do in the year 2023. Please let's rise to our feet. Uh, Ijo, Ijo Bukiabi <laughs> will lead us, dance and appreciate God. They will present our gift to the Lord this morning. Please, she will do that in the next, in the next, let's say, five to ten minutes. Then we'll allow her to go. Then after the Thanksgiving, uh, our Papa in the Lord will, will, will come up again. There are some things we need to put in place. Then we'll call the anniversary cake. We'll take pictures. Please don't go. We need the picture for some things. So let's do that today. After the whole Thanksgiving, I pray the Lord will help us and his name shall be glorified in Jesus' name. Okay, let's invite her. Put your hands together for her, please. Hallelujah. Please shall rise to our feet. Ah, emi adupe orere o. Ah, emi adupe orere o. Back up, please. Melesha I do pe o re re o Melesha I do pe o re re o Baba Eh 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 Eh
Nobody. 
anything to say before we pray praise the lord praise the mighty jesus we are here this afternoon to return our glory back unto our god the one who was has been with us since last year conference till this moment we appreciate him for 30 days we waited upon him praying every day concerning this conference and god answered our prayers indeed is a faithful God we thank him for all that he has done we thank him because he has been a faithful father we appreciate him concerning all our sisters the able helpers God lifted us up he changed our level when we're about to start the preparation it, it was as if it won't be possible but God showed up it showed God up a day will I say the same day we started uh, on Thursday when we started the program he just showed up in a way we we didn't expect him and everything changed everything turned around we want to say a big thank you to him we want to thank him for his protection his provision for changing the level of our, our sisters last year you prayed for us that god will bless us he will establish us indeed he established us if we can't among us those that doesn't have as in about two three jobs more more rare but this year we noticed that so many of us we are into so many things doing businesses and we are comfortable now and uh, that's the reason why we are here this afternoon to say thank you to him for 15 years of his goodness for his glorious plan he has for us again in the next another five years which that will, that will mark our 20th anniversary that is the reason why we are here to say thank you lord for all that you have done and for what he will yet do praise god us, let us pray.
Look up before I pray for you. I want you to believe God for something. She was sharing with me that one of you said last year she was trusting God that God should establish her in the food industry. I think we call it the entertainment industry. And God did. She now said she promised God that if God should establish her, she will cater for the Ebuwe Pass Conference. And she just came and told Mama, all the food that they will eat, my company will serve it. We were glad. The Lord will bless you, Remy Food. Now, every one of you too, project something for next year. Imagine I've been in the country low. Anything we're asking, Lord, let it be something you can use. Your die are nothing. I bless you, women, in the name of Jesus. I speak as your pastor that the heavens of God's blessing be declared open over you in the name of Jesus. If there be anyone marked for death, I stand as God's servant and declare that death cancelled in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will help you. You have come to give him thanks for 2022. If Jesus tarries and you are in the country in 2023, you will gather together again to give God thanks for a much better level in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today you have been spoken about and throughout, throughout the four days on except, being exceptional. In blessing for good, may you be exceptional. Amen. In favor for good, may you be exceptional. Amen. In honor for good, may you be ex exceptional. Amen. Go and prosper. I release you to go and prosper. I declare international doors open for you. Favored on every side. Both to the right. Both to the left. Front and back. And finally I pray your good expectation will not be cut off. It is well with you. In Jesus name. Rise up in victory and joy. What's the next cutting Please, women, take your seat. Everybody, take your seat. Service is still on. The women ask the next program. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Jesus. Let's God justly have our seats in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our next program is cutting off our anniversary cake. Let's welcome Lolly Bite. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for her. 